podcast, Grouchy, and this is uh Debbie for a month. Now this is a, now my original in the last video I said I was gonna be using Denevo, whatever, and da, whatever, Dev, Dev, Devan or whatever. But I discovered something. In the, I installed it. In video drive was just could not install. I mean AMD. Because now, I cannot, Mesa's too old, and there's not really any easy way to compile it from the Nevo. <laughs> so, I tried the proprietary drivers. The AMD, they were okay. I've asked, now, they were able to install on a Debian, like, when I tr tried Debian a couple months ago. Actually, wait, no, um, I tried an old Debian before, but I thought the Nevo would be kind of cool. Test out. But what I discovered was, no, it, the, the installer used system D and it also did not uh, only will work. Uh, you you have to modify. The, I modified the installer. I mad. I removed saying. Uh, I removed the uh, installer. Of, um, complaining about um. Um. What OS it uses? Um, because it says it only um really will detect um s uh, install on Linux Mint. Debian or Ubuntu, but when I tried it, it would just not install. Now, um, this is why I dislike how they have, like, a uh, RPM and all. I really wish how they, they would do how they used to do it, like in the old Catalyst drivers, which I tried to install on my Ubuntu, uh, my, uh, Ubu my, um, Ubuntu, um, 10.04p Mac I've modified, I uh, installed it on, which actually does allow you to, uh, has a much better old catalyst drive, which is an sh like w that one file, and that sort of gives you a control panel. All, but uh, now let's get into this. Now I discovered something. You have to go to the other. You have to go to the non-free versions. Now I don't know if you necessarily have to, but you need you need you need a now for my for some reason well, you have to go to the unofficial included non-free firmware because what I discovered was. It will just not work. It's really weird. It'll just like refuse to uh, work. Now, our uh, multi arc. Um, I guess there's no. Oh, you know, let's go with the multi arc one. Now, w what I discovered though is it will just not. Uh, crap, I misspoke again. But what I discovered was it will just not install. No, uh, crap. Take two. Uh, cr crap. It will just, you know what, I don't even know what I'm saying, but, uh, oh yeah, it will just not boot. Like, I cannot get it to boot. Like, no way it would be able to boot, um, at all. Like, like, but, like, unless I use the non, unofficial non-free one, it will just not boot. Okay, thank God. Th okay, for, for a second, I thought I accidentally down some firmware, but no. So what I did is I just did multi arc. This will save me some time because you have to end up installing multi arc architecture now. Let's blast it now. What I use is I just use Bally Nature. Um, I have to just get the ISO it's downloaded and just blast it. Now I'm using the net install because I don't. I have pretty good internet. The only reason I I install it on my two t four terabyte hard drive. It's not that bad for gaming and installing stuff when you have the OS, but installing an OS, it takes a good two hours to ins like an hour or two, so it took like an hour or two, but when I ins finally installed it, it took, it was like two hours later, and it was a complete, I tried getting it to work, but I could not, but uh, well, let's end the video, guys, so if you just feel, would like to see more, have a wonderful day, guys, and goodbye.